Botswana 2055. The purpose of this engagement is to solicit input to make the strategy community-based. The name of our chapter is Sustainable Development and Natural Resources and deals with climate change, energy efficiency, and water conservation and management. In supplying electricity, remember, in 2055, we expect everyone to have electricity. And as the drive for that, we also plan to do the non-grid supply of electricity. And the question is, what is non-grid? We want people who are away from the city, who are comfortable sitting away from the city, to have all the basic needs. And the basic needs, we are talking about water and electricity. I know at this point in time, before 2014, we are still calling electricity as a privilege. But after 2014, electricity will be a right to have. So those people, we are planning that we put in a non-grid supply of electricity, which is solar. When you look at the rates of electricity now, it's high. Most of the people cannot afford. That is why we have illegal electricity. People, they do connect, and then it affects the community in different uh, townships. In consideration of working with local NGOs, these are relevant people whom interact with individuals and communities each and every day. And these are people who face large quantities and large amounts of people. If only we could raise awareness, whether in schools, communities, or wherever, and monitor and evaluate the impact. Because what we are looking for now is an impact of facing the crisis and, and addressing climate change. If only we could monitor and evaluate what we have raised awareness about, then we could see where we are going. Let the youth within the township be empowered with the skills because we have lots of youth roaming around, indulging in drugs. Mm -hmm. So let the service provider who's going to be uh, assigned to do their job use the youth. That's my request, to transfer the skills and empower them. We have another challenge of young people sitting at home. And they, the one thing that we face, we have so many issues, but the core issue now is environment and climate change. <coughs> but if only we had to take individuals from communities and engage them into workshops and capacitate them with relevant information according to their skills. Then we know we had, we had hit two beds with one stone. Cleaning up our environment, going green, and another thing, creating employment. There is no uh, awareness campaign looking at uh, the climate change now. If you look at the townships, people, they just throw all the dirt inside. They take it as a dumping site. Should we experience a uh, a heavy rain for three to four days. The houses that are at the lower ground are going to have serious problems with the floods. So I think if ever there's enough awareness campaign, how to maintain, because even those people who are making it just throw the oil into the, uh, the, the rainstorm. Mm -hmm. So we need to have a serious uh, awareness campaign in the community to see the seriousness of all those things. Another issue that maybe can be considered in future is on the water bill of a consumer to maybe put a note there, you know, once the consumption of that consumer goes up very high, to maybe, you know, through the billing system pick up that this consumption is very high and to alert the consumer, you know, to put a print a line on the bill of the consumer so that when he gets this bill, you know, of so many thousand rand, at least there's a line that tells him, you know, be aware there could be a potential leak on your on your on your property. So those are some of the things that could be considered. My question is, have we thought of sustaining and adopting wetlands? If we, when, if we decided to go to Hamans ground right now, we find so many wetlands that are polluted, number one, that are very, very polluted. But the question is, how are we going to sustain those things if we don't identify people that can pilot the process? I am going once again to local NGOs. These are relevant people who go around townships, who go around communities and see challenges. How about we appoint and give them a task? Uh, in the near future, we can have a, a blanket approach where we say, if you want to invest or build a factory in the city of Swan, you'll have to provide yourself with 40% of only renewable energies and the municipality will only supply 60% from the grid. With regards to 
the environment in Atrishville. There are houses that were built on a wetland. You complain that you don't have water. How can we try to harvest the water or channel it to the correct uh, pipe so that we should have enough water for the, the Swani people? 2020 55.